Hey, what's up everybody? So today I am talking about something different. And yes, if you're looking around in this shot, you know it is shoes. Drumming shoes. Now what in the world is a drumming shoe? Um, well, there's not really an exact answer to that because there aren't a lot of drumming shoes. Um, but really what a drumming shoe is supposed to be and what it is supposed to do is it's supposed to be something comfortable to wear while playing drums that provides you with a special enhanced grip on your pedals for playing. Um, and this is something that some of you may have never heard of before in your life. This is something that some of you may be like, that's really dumb. Why would you, like I play fine in, in these shoes or I play fine barefoot or whatever. And some of you may be like, oh, that's pretty cool. I wish I would have heard of that before. So that's what this video is about, is introducing you to it. Um, and maybe for some of you that may think like, oh, hey, I play fine in bare feet or, or the shoes that I'm in. Um, this is just like a little bit something different because you don't know about it until you try it. Um, personally, I've never owned drumming shoes until um, recently. Well, not really recently. It's been uh, like eight months or something like that. It's, it's been a while that I've been trying out and playing with these shoes um, just so that when I actually do the review um, it's not me like hey I got these shoes I don't really like I, I, I put them on they're nice so yeah like I want to be able to tell you my actual thoughts on them and so that's why I've waited so long to do a review on these actual shoes now there are multiple varieties of drumming shoes on the market um, but I've never invested in any because I didn't really like them before. Not I didn't like the way they felt, but I didn't like the way they looked. I feel like if you're going to buy a pair of shoes, which um, I mean these aren't expensive shoes, but they're not like the cheapest shoes in the world either. So if you're going to spend the money to get shoes, I think they should be shoes that are not only uh, great for drumming, but they're great for normal life and you want to wear them and they look good. Um, and so. The reason I hadn't gotten, I think like there's like a DB drum shoe or something like that before, um, was just I never was intrigued by the way they looked. And so that's what these shoes, and I haven't said the name yet, but uh, they are V-Ratum drumming shoes. Uh, they actually, they're by the brand V-Ratum, but they go by the name of the Adam shoe is what they call them. And so what I like about these shoes is that they're functional and they are, um, useful and they're also versatile and so that's that's really something that I like to apply to anything that I buy um, for the most part anyway like if I'm gonna get a symbol I want a symbol that I can use in multiple genres I try not to get one symbol that I can only use for one song ever like that does that's not a very good purchase and so the reason I purchased these shoes is because I think that they're good for multiple uh, scenarios and that is they're great for playing drums in I'll talk about the grip and everything soon but also I can wear them around and they're comfortable and so uh, personally I am a very um, I, it's, I don't know how to really say it I, I like to match um, I like to make sure that when I go out you know my shoes match my my shirt or my keychain matches my shirt and my shoes and so I like to have a lot of different colors and shoes and so that's one thing that's pretty cool about these is they come in three colors they come in black which uh, I'll show the camera angle on my feet right now um, you can see them down there those are your generic um, wear them with almost anything kind of shoes but then they also come in red which I absolutely love um, the color red and so I wear a lot of red and I like it as an accent color. So these shoes are really cool, they stand out. And then they also come in green and blue. Now, I personally don't wear a lot of green. I do wear blue, but um, I don't wear a lot of green, so I actually don't wear this color very much. But I see a lot of people wearing green shoes, and so it's cool that they have it in that color because you may want to wear it in that color. Now, of course, this whole video, you'll, you'll be seeing drumming in the background and stuff and some shots, so um, that way the talking doesn't get too monotonous because, I mean, there's really not much I can do in terms of video besides show, you, show me playing with the shoes and then maybe like putting them on and stuff, but let's talk a little bit about construction of the actual shoes. Now, that's something that 
Um, they're actually kind of a good bit different from what I usually wear um, because they're like a, a suede, I guess, is the, the right, uh, right word for it. And so they're very soft and they're very flexible, which is really great because that means that they're lightweight and they're comfortable. And that is another thing that you want a drumming shoe to be. You want it to be lightweight. You don't want your foot to be bogged down by a really heavy shoe. And so I'll turn on this camera here and we can take a, a little closer look at it. There we go. No, there we go. So we can see that it's suede. And so it's just a little bit different. You can see it, it's very flexible and uh, you, can, you can bend it. And so it feels great on your foot and is, is comfortable. And really a lot of people like to go barefoot when they drum. And the reason, I, I kind of like it, but the reason I don't do it is because I hate when I smash my foot on the kick pedal, like up against one of the, the pieces of it that you don't want to smash your foot up against. And so I like to have a shoe to protect myself against hurting myself on my kick pedals. Cause you know, when I'm getting into it, I'm going crazy and I'm moving around, I'm bouncing around. So I want something that, that holds, um, holds my feet in place and keeps me safe from ripping my feet open while I'm playing drums. And that's what these shoes are. They're a good cross between a normal shoe and barefoot because they're lightweight and they, uh, they fit well and they fit like, they're kind of like a glove for your foot. Um, they fit your foot really well because of how flexible they are. So when you tighten them up, they wrap around your foot and they hold them really well. So now the next portion is the grip. And if you see here, the grip is very different from most shoes. There's a lot of little, almost like fingers or whatever you want to call them on the bottom of these shoes. And what that does is that actually gives you um, a very unique feel to the pedals. Um, since they're all kind of flat, you still have the ability to slide around, but depending on like if, if it's wet or if there's um, anything like on the ground, if you get dirt in your, sh your shoes and everything, there's so much uh, space in between that it's kind of like a tire where all of that debris goes up in there and you still have the grip to hold on to the pedal. So you don't slide around too much. You see the shot down there like, I can move, but you can hear it gripping onto the pedals. Um, so when I don't like fly off of the pedals and you'll see in the shot, I'll do some swivel action and stuff. Um, but that's something that I really like about the grip. I would say that, um, and I'm sure many of you are like wondering like, how does it compare to other shoes? Well. I don't, I'm not a scientist, I don't have, uh, I actually tweeted that just the other day um, because of The Walking Dead. Um, and it's true, I'm not a scientist, so I don't have like an exact percentage for you, but I can make an estimate on how much I like the grip over a normal shoe. And I've, I've tried a lot of different shoes, and so I'd say that when it comes to the actual feel on the pedals, it's probably... 40 or 50 percent change in a, in a bet, like increase in uh, in grip and comfortable comfort comfort comfortable comfortable ability. <laughs> I don't know what the word is there. It, it's like a 40 or 50 percent positive increase in the ability to grip the pedals and move around. In my opinion, and of course everyone's opinion is going to be different, but that's what I like about these shoes is that they give you better grip and they're also very comfortable. And so I don't want to go on and on and on about the shoes because I mean, they're shoes. So it's one of those things where if you like the way they look, um, I can tell you that I like the way they feel. Um, you won't know that until you try them out, but just think of it as a, a lightweight, comfortable shoe that gives you a little bit of a different grip on the pedals. And so that's what the Viratum Adam shoe is all about. And that's what a drumming shoe is all about. And I think that in concept and in form and um, in production, they actually do a really great job of creating a shoe that is lightweight and comfortable and fun to use. Um, I like to wear them a lot and they're also really easy to slip on and off. And so um, 
a lot of times when I need to go somewhere really quickly, I'll slip these shoes on and I'll run out and uh, I know they look good and I know that they feel great. So it's always a good choice to take them out, whether I'm playing drums or whether I'm just going out to the store or whatever. So very versatile shoe. Um, definitely check out their website, vratum.com. I'll put all the, the stuff down in the description and everything. And I hope you enjoyed the playing in the background of this video. I haven't even done it yet, but I hope it's going to be awesome. <laughs> So I'm just going to have a little fun, and uh, I'll close out the video with a little more fun playing. And yeah, thank you for watching. Go check out the v Radom shoe. Tweet at him, tweet at me, let me know what you think. Leave a comment below, subscribe for more videos, and have a great day.